Hi, my name is Alyssa, and thank you for joining me for Footsteps to Brilliant Storytime. Today, we're going to read Animal Riddles and Rhymes, which is found on level three of Footsteps to Brilliance. Today, we're gonna to go through letters A through E. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account so we can get started reading the story. I've logged into my Footsteps to Brilliance account and I'm on level three. Now, I'm going to click on Animal Riddles and Rhymes, found in my library. And I'm gonna click on A through E. And if I click on this little purple speaker icon here, it will read the story to me. Animal Riddles and Rhymes, written by Dawson J. Hunt, illustrated by Kalima Merritt. Let's go to the next page. What would you call jeans for ants? Ooh, that's a hard riddle. What would you call jeans for ants? Let's go ahead and let's click on this little arrow here and drag it down and see what happens. Ants pants. So what would you call jeans for ants? Ants pants. Ants and pants rhyme. Did you know that the ants you see are probably female ants? The females do all the work. They get the food and work on the nest. They take care of the baby ants. Each nest of ants has one queen. She makes the babies. The only job for male ants is to mate with a queen. The males do not live long. Let's look at another riddle. What would you call a cap for a bat? What would you call a cap for a bat? Hmm, let's see if this gives us a clue. A bat hat. A bat hat, because bat and hat rhyme. They both end with the at sound. Did you know that a bat is the only kind of mammal that truly flies? A bat eats insects. One bat eats 2,000 to 6,000 insects in one night. The biggest bat is the fruit-eating Malayan flying fox. Its wingspan is six feet. Who would have thought a bat had the name of a fox? Let's go to the next page. What would you call it when two cats talk to each other? What would you call it when two cats talk to each other? Let's see if this gives us a clue. A cat chat. A cat chat because cat and chat both end with the at sound. Did you know that some people say that a cat has nine lives? This is just a saying. It comes from the fact that a cat can quickly escape danger. A cat does not live nine lives, but it can fall many times from a tree or window and land on its feet. Wow! Do any of you have a cat at home? I have two cats at my house. What would you call it when a dog goes for a run? What would you call it when a dog goes for a run? Let's see if this will give us a clue. A dog jog. A dog jog. Because dog and jog both end with the og sound. Did you know that dogs were probably the first animals to be tamed? Dogs have a much better sense of smell than people. That's why some dogs are trained as search animals. Some dogs can even tell when a person is sick. Do any of you have a dog at home? 
I have one dog at my house. What would you call dinner for an eel? What would you call dinner for an eel? Let's see if this will give us a clue. An eel meal. An eel meal. Because eel and meal both end with the eel sound. Did you know that an eel is a long fish? A freshwater eel lives in lakes or rivers when grown, but it starts life in the salty seas. There is another kind of water creature called an electric eel, but the electric eel is not really an eel. Isn't that shocking? How interesting! The end. Thank you for joining me today for Footsteps to Brilliant Storytime. The Footsteps to Brilliance app is free to Calusi County residents. So if you would like to continue reading stories or playing games or doing activities on Footsteps to Brilliance, you can sign up for an account for free. Visit www.anliteracyforall.net to register for this application and the Clever Kids University pre-reader and I can read apps. Your super secret code for Footsteps to Brilliance will work for all three free applications. For assistance with any of the Footsteps to Brilliance or Clever Kids University apps, contact me at amoss at ccoe.net or 530-531-7055. Follow us on Facebook at CCOE and Literacy for All and subscribe to the Calusa County Office of Education YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you next time.